Hello there, friends. I hope all of you are having a very happy Monday. We got some rain here this morning, and it was kind of welcome because we had not had rain in quite some time. So it's been a sweet day. We got some rain. Now we got some sunshine. A little too wet to head down to the garden today. So I uh, put the finishing touches on a couple new flow journals for the shop. Please excuse my hands and my fingernails. Uh, there's just like no way to make any Thing look better right this moment <laughs> because um hardcore gardening hardcore crafting hardcore cleaning it's just like you know your hands just really i mean look at them they aren't very pretty they take a beating but when you look at your hands you know you think about uh, the diapers that they've changed and the hands they've held and the meals they've cooked and the plants they've planted and all of the things that our, you know, miraculous hands have done over their lives. Now, my hands are 63 years old, so they're really showing a lot of age, but, you know, again... They are, they've been really busy. They've played instruments. They've done shows. They have traveled. They have learned to drive a car. They have learned to ride a bicycle. They have uh, touched my mama's face and touched my children's faces, you know, the ones you love. So never discount your hands. I don't know where I got off on that, but that's how it is. <laughs> got some new fabric to work with uh, courtesy of our wonderful Miss C who is always sending us all kinds of treasures to uh, to experiment with these are awesome just an awesome bead strand these are some sort of ceramic beads that someone sent me once and they just really do match the theme of this journal just absolutely perfectly. I love the kitty cats. This one has, you know, she has like a Mary Poppins hat on. It's just really fun. Uh, we're calling these art supply journals because basically that is what they are. If you uh, would like to get started on a mixed media project, this is for you. If you would like to get started making art trading cards, this is for you. If you would like to experience Experiment with mixed media this is for you if you would like to build tags and build bookmarks this is for you <laughs> it's a very all-encompassing all-inclusive sort of art supply journal so we'll go through this baby page by page let's do our fun fun measure at first and see what a girth we got on this baby and she is four and a half inches wide now we've talked about ways to use these you know a lot of people like to use them as a file folder kind of like a vertical file folder and just put these on the side of your desk and then you can choose your focal element or choose your magazine image or whatever they are a lot of fun uh, it's kind of like an art store in book form so let's go through and see what we have. We always uh, provide you with cardstock. These books have four signatures and they have eight pockets. It's fun to work in a book like this because you have ideas, you know, to build upon. There are magazine pages. There are text pages. This is one of my favorite things to do, y'all, is painting envelopes that I get in the mail, painting junk mail envelopes, you know, and if you choose to like utilize a pocket right here, you sure can do that. Um, I'm having to make use of all of my, yes, I have too many garden catalogs because I'm kind of addicted to gardening. Um, anytime that you flip through here and you come to now these are vintage recipes right here you come to a page like this now this is a curated cluster you have all kinds of things to work with here this is some upholstery uh, findings these are vintage photographs from magazines i think this one was from 1970 so you're going to have some super cool text here we've got a sewing machine diagram right here and then you've got some pattern paper to play with as well so a curated cluster is just a jump start it helps you quickly you know a lot of craft projects really do love sheet music so we've got some sheet music in here for you 
lots of images for you to choose from. Chippy Bits, another little curated cluster. This one has such beautiful paper in it, and it has a chippy bit that says make it happen. Let's talk for a minute about finding words and phrases and journal prompts that are actually in these books. Any time that you run across something, it evokes a memory. Now, whether we play into that memory and we write about that memory and we might jot that memory down, then that's kind of up to us. You know, it's, it's our journaling style. It's how we do things. It's how we write. It's how we keep up with our thoughts. People do that in a variety of different ways. Some people... Um, are comfortable writing every day. Some people are not. Some people, you know, just like to write once a week and kind of capsulate the week. But anytime you find something like this, what about this? You know, what does this little picture of this baby say? I'm, I imagine this is from 1870, 1880. And then you've got this whole thing tells a story. You've got the baby here. You've got a little bit of crafty goodness right here. Now, these are from, lift that up so I don't scratch anything here. A child's book about learning to back stitch and combination stitch. So basically, it is a children's guide to stitchery. And I think that is from 1970. And then you have some things to color back here. So, you know, memories are things, I remember that my mom used to color with me and it fascinated me because she would, uh, she would put rosy pink on the cheeks of the girls and boys that we were coloring. And I just thought that was so cool. I want to do that when I grow up. It's fun to, you know, our memories can, can serve us or they cannot serve us. If they serve us well, then we are able to write and grow and respond to our memories. Uh, some memories are great, some memories not so great, but often forgettery is a great kind of memory <laughs> to have. Just kind of forget the whole thing ever happened and make yourself feel better. These books have great images in them, y'all. I was very, very happy with kind of the choice of images that I was able to repurpose, recycle, reuse, redo in these books. His heart full of bright hopes. To me, this guy looks like his heart is full of bright hopes. He's obviously sitting in a cafe. I love the collection of coffee mugs up here. It's Route 66. And maybe he's offering, because his heart is full of bright hopes, maybe he's offering you some travel tips over your coffee. Uh, pastry with cheese. That's an old recipe. I love, like I said, I love, love, love uh, garden catalogs. These are the guitar strings that Chris is using right now. I think that the design, the, the, the writing, the font, everything about that is just really cool. And it's really nice of him because he knows how I am. This is super old Polish, 1850. He knows how I am about things. And he, he was changing his guitar strings not long ago. And he said, I'll just leave these here. <laughs> Individual guitar strings are always in a little envelope, in a little paper envelope. And uh, I was like, yep, that's exactly where I'd like for you to leave them. This is from the Einstein Encyclopedia. This might give you a few ideas about combining uh, any kind of super old text over some newer kind of text right here. We have some old playing cards for you. This is a sweet little item, y'all. These are stickers, and they go on this little um, item here. They aren't repositionable, but they are fun to play with, and you don't have to use them on this little slip board anyway. You can do different things with them. You guys know how much I dig maps. Maps show us so many things, where we're going, where, we're, where we've been. It's a great little journal prompt to, when you run across a map, to recapitulate and think about all of the addresses that you've lived at and how long have you lived there. I was able to do that the other day, and I was like, wow, you know, I've lived in a lot of places. I'm from a small town. I spent 37 years in that small town and kind of just thought that I would never, ever, ever 
you know, leave that place, but I did, and I've had joyful experiences and not so joyful experiences uh, living <laughs> in other places. I think it expands your mind to be able to to live in different spots. But, you know, let's talk about living in the same spot. Maybe you, I, I saw a Facebook post not long ago from a friend I went to, uh, to elementary school with, well, I went to school with all the way through school. And um, the question was, how far away from your home, from your childhood home do you live now? And he lived two miles from his childhood home. I thought that was just very sweet. I live a lots of miles from my childhood home. I love the way that these turned out, y'all. This was, a, I think Miss Michelle sent these along. Don't you love them? The moths. And then I just kind of finished it off with, uh, with a, a bit of fabric up there. You know, speaking of fabric, these books have fabric at the top. You have a lot of things to experiment with. You have fiber. You have content at the top of the book as well as inside the book. There's a little fabric scrap right there. There's some ribbons some stickers that go along with that color thing really, really nicely. I love the vintage recipes because I think it gives us a, an opportunity to really look at the way that food was served in the past. You know, there, you ain't going to see no paper plates there, y'all. You ain't going to see no star foam dishes either. Um, how I, I have been cleaning out clutter, and I have a collection of beautiful glass serving pieces that I acquired somewhere, and it was like, I just don't want that kind of kind of thing anymore. You know, I think there was a time and a place for things like that. Maybe that's why I love shows like Downton Abbey. I, I love the uh, the dramatic aspect, but the clothing and the food is, you know, that's a story in itself, isn't it? We have lots of cardstock for you to play with, lots of images. Look at that sweet little key cat. You know, this may be a call for you to write about your favorite animal. I just had a conversation with somebody, and he said... My favorite thing about, he does not like people. He's not a people person. Uh, he said, my favorite thing about people is their dogs. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was just really pre pretty funny, y'all. Just so much to, uh, to enjoy. You know, you can look at this as a, uh, uh, you know, something to get you fired up in the morning, something to settle you down at night. If you need a bit or a bob, it's usually in here. If you need an image, if you need a scrap of paper, these books are art supply books. They're meant to take apart and use as you see fit. They also are meant to, um, to educate you, to teach you, um, because they do have interesting articles that are incorporated in the in the artistic elements of the book. So we have some kitty cats here. Let's look at this baby again. Miss C blessed us with this sweet material. I love this fabric. It, oh gosh, it just reminds, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, the sheets that would be on your childhood bed. You know, these beautiful, not guys, but girls, you know, these beautiful floral sheets that um, we were so fond of, you know, when we were little girls. I, I started using my plastic bead collection. I dig it, y'all. I think it looks really good on, uh, on these books in conjunction with this sweet cover, you know, Childhood. Just read the book Childhood's End. I highly recommend it. I've read a lot of books lately, and I'm discovering that reading on my that reading on my phone is not the the um, the the antagonistic experience I thought it was going to be. We have a three by three mini book in here for you, art trading, art trading coin blanks. There's some inspiration right here for you. Um, Chippy's right here. Remember the creature comforts. You know, odd that that came up as we were talking about um, the sheets on our bed. Childhood's Hour was written by Arthur C. Clarke, who wrote uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, among a lot of other things. It is a very prescient novel. It is. It was written in 1953, 
the crux of the story takes place um, in 2053. It's a remarkable look at the way that Arthur C. Clarke perceived the human race and how spot on he is about so many things and the way that humanity is um the way that humanity is um headed and progressing and maybe not progressing uh, in the direction that maybe we would think it would. It's a great, great book, you guys. I also read, don't you love that? Fall in love with as many things as possible. Those two elements just went great together. I was the recipient of a Somerset magazine, and I have cut that baby apart and used it, and I have used it at will. This is the Grand and Rude catalog, and I love these owl uh, prints that are in that catalog. I think they're so super cool. This is vintage sewing. Of course, we have a pocket here. Now, the pocket is made from uh, the Edith Holton books and Edwardian's uh, Edwardian Ladies Guide to Nature. I can't remember the exact name of the book. I love these pockets. This will encourage you to do some slow sewing, to find yourself some encyclopedia pages or botanical pages and really just have fun, you know, a fun go at something like that. Anytime you have contact names, home phone, work phone, email, you know, we don't have a mobile phone on here. We have home phone, work phone. And just interesting to, even in just the past 10 years, how things have unfolded when we think about addresses and phone numbers and that sort of thing. Speaking of addresses and phone numbers, I also read Nomadland. Now, Nomadland, the movie, just won um, the Oscar for Best Film and Best Director. You guys, you got to read it. It is such an interesting book. It is about people who um, lost everything in the 2008 collapse, and they are living in their vans. Now, some people do this as a life choice. That's just that's just what, you know, that's that's just their decision. They do not have a terrestrial, um, stable, uh, brick and mortar kind of house. You know, their house is on their is on their wheels, whether it's a you know, they're pulling doing a pull behind trailer. I really like the way this turned out. Or they are um, driving a camper or pulling a camper. It is just a very, very interesting um, way of life. And the book doesn't just capture like a way of life. It also captures the way that these people work. And a lot of them are over 60. Uh, these are people who saw their investments actually evaporate. The book was written, uh, I think it was published in 2017, so well before COVID. It's amazing. Highly recommend it. These are the, the, um, hmm, these are the tessellated pages that I've been working on, you guys. I'm having a whole lot of fun doing these. These are just, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen my tessellated page video. Uh, Joy DeFee is the inventress of tessellated pages. She's a smart girl. A lot of these older folks, you guys, they work for Amazon. So they go from itinerant position to itinerant position. Some of them are uh, hosts in campgrounds. Um, they go from, you know, uh, a campground to Amazon, you know, when Amazon was... Um, not as busy as now, but uh, seasonal, they're seasonal employees. So they may be running a, you know, they may be running the roller coaster like at your, um, at a theme park or, you know, then they would stop doing that. And over the summer they would work at a uh, campground and then after the campground was closed, then they would move to Amazon and then they would just do the whole thing over and over again. I can't say enough about the book. I cannot wait to see the movie. I'm sure it will be available on Netflix or 
I have Netflix and uh, Prom Video, so I feel like it will be on something soon. Another creative cluster, remember this is just a jump start. All these things go together. It's kind of like a puzzle, and it's fun to puzzle out what you're going to do with the cluster. You don't have to just use the items that are in the cluster. You can use it in conjunction with other things, but it really is kind of like a puzzle if you just use the creative cluster exactly the way it is. It's kind of a lot of fun. Fun. Um, I think that's the last thing that I read. I was just fascinated by it, and I highly recommend it. This is such a a packed uh, <laughs> a packed pocket right here with lots of things to enjoy. We've got some fabric here for you to. Uh, to play with. I love magazine images. I'm not going to be sh shy and crazy about that. I think that magazine images are a rich source of not only color, uh, style, font, information, but they can be used in so many different ways. You know, we can tear up the entire magazine pages and make it into a painty paper kind of project. Um, the images are stellar and to me Images in magazines are, are wonderful places to start or end a piece of art. Look at that. Isn't that really super cool right there? This is the language, and it features flowers. You know, we've got flowers here, flowers here, parsley here. Parsley doesn't flower. I'm growing parsley. I just did my first uh, herb salad mix harvest, and I've got to tell you, it was delicious. I did some mustard greens. Uh, parsley, arugula, iceberg, and hmm, I put something else in there. I can't remember. Uh, dill. Dill. Oh my goodness. If you've never had a dill herb salad, it's wonderful. I love it. The best bar none. I've got vintage recipes in here for you. Vintage pieces. These would be so much fun to put together. Uh, art trading cards, art trading coins for your pen pals. I love just tossing something into my mom's twice weekly mail. She loves to get pretty photos and um, she really does dig uh, flowery things. So I'm always happy to find that. Look at that. That, that turned out so nicely, y'all. That was this is a lot of fun to uh, play with those tessellated pages. I love the thickness. I love the quality. I love the texture of the whole thing. So you've got cutouts and everything in here to play with. Again, four signatures, eight pockets. I don't think we did a measurement on this, so let's measure this baby right away. See what we have here. Um, she, good grief. She's a, she's a big mama. She's like five and three quarters inches. So lots of goodies for you to play with. Guys, I'm putting these in the shop a little bit later on today. I appreciate your kind support. I appreciate you listening to me babble about this and that and the other. <laughs> Have a great Monday and I will talk to you soon. Take care, y'all. Bye.